Welcome to the X Dr. Tommy O Show. The X Dr. Tommy O Show takes a holistic approach to our community's healthcare needs and concerns. Tonight, we are taking a two-part series on cyberbullying. The first part, which is today, I have a guest, a special friend of mine, who I will introduce. We will be addressing the clinical perspective of cyberbullying. The second part, which will be the next show, is on a youth's perspective who is cyberbullied, and she will give her experience as well as her mother will be involved in, and the family uh, experience and how it was, they were involved and how they addressed cyberbullying. But let's get right into the show. Um, I like to go down with our panel. My first guest, Eric Laude. He's a very good friend of mine. He specializes in post-traumatic syndrome. Eric, welcome to the show. Thank you very much. I'm glad to be back again. Yes, first lieutenant. Who? Another hoorah. That's, That's it. Indeed. Yes, indeed. And we also have Bishop Paquette. Welcome, Bishop. Right. And Bishop, right. you're a part of Church Alive Community Church. You built Church Alive Community Church. You also are uh, a Harlem Hellfighter. That's right. 369. There you go. That's right. right. Field artillery. Amen. Amen. There All we go. Right. See here, you have a distinguished panel. Who's well, you got a first a lieutenant and a second lieutenant, right? That's right. Uh, you do, and then you have a captain. And you got a captain. <laughs> In that order. Right. Exactly. But, uh, but we're here again. This is a war. We're at war today. Right. We are. And we're right. here to tell you about this war. I I'm not talking about the I Iraq and Afghanistan war. I'm talking about the war on technology or with technology, and that's called cyberbullying. Uh, Eric, yes, you, you'd you like to give a, a formal definition of uh, cyberbullying? Yes. Uh, um, this is from uh, uh, news, NBC News Tonight. Um, cyberbullying is, and in fact, what we do is ask, what is cyberbullying? Sure. And I'd like to just do a read a little piece of that. Um, Cyberbullying is a, sin, a, a sending or posting of harmful or cruel text or images using the internet or other digital communication devices such as emails, instant messaging, IMs, text messaging or digital images such as uh, on, uh, sent on mobile phones, social networking sites, web pages, mm -hmm. blogs, visual world, chat rooms or discussion groups, interactive game sites, and cyberbullying can be conducted 24 hours a day, mm, right. seven days a week, mm. and uh, making the victim a perpetual target. The harassment can be annoying or a single message posted online or sent to a mobile phone, sent, uh, which can spread to a, a wide audience, Harmful or embarrassing messages or images can remain online indefinitely to damage the child's social life and friendships and possibly their reputations. One term is very important, cyberbullying. What is it? It is used when the victim or bully is a child or a teen. And the term cyber harassment is used when the victim is an adult. So there is a, a distinguished, uh, definite uh, a difference between the definitions. Yes, okay. from an adult and a child. Okay. Oh, let's. Uh, I want you to have a bishop come in because uh, we've had a situation in the church where you had to step in and to uh, offer guidance, and and you. We're going to discuss this in the second show about uh, parental guidance here at the church. The bishop. He offers the guidance. Right. Within the church, you said you had an experience or the youth program. Yeah, we were discussing about uh, two weeks ago when the youngsters um, uh, you know, came in and were talking about being bullied. And we was asking them, I asked them, well, what makes a bully? And I was amazed at the term, they, they, the understanding that they, that they uh, uh, gave what makes a bully was mm -hmm. actually almost exactly right there in, this, in the article that you read that it's, it, it's, it's not abstract, it's real. Mm -hmm. and, and, the, and the description you gave there was exactly what they said. And I asked them, you know, what would you do if, if you saw someone bullying someone? Mm -hmm. Well, they took it from a Christian perspective and said we would step in. Uh -huh. And I was amazed that they, they had that, that their Christianity, mm -hmm. uh, uh, they realized it was important to them that they protect that person right. mm -hmm. that was being bullied. 
And then I asked them, well, you know, what, if, what do you think about the person who bullied? And they said some interesting that they're trying to get an attraction for themselves. Mm -hmm. It's a psychological thing. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I think you can deal with that. Yes, I was going to add to that that it is an emotional issue that is uh, dealing with self-esteem. Right. And that uh, the parents are a very big part of that. Mm -hmm. It's either the lack of uh, discipline, lack of values, and lack of uh, caring for the child who act, then acts out that anger, mm -hmm. and that anger is directed in bullying. Now, the problem with the cyberbullying is that the parent isn't aware mm -hmm. that the child is acting out. And that that can go on and on. And uh, once that is done, the, the parent then wonders why the child has done such. And they aren't even aware of it. And it's very important to realize that the parents usually aren't that astute with uh, the, uh, the, the networking, networking the technology, and, the technology. and the technology, yes. Well, and, and it's a self, it's a sense of, of uh, grandeur when you can hurt somebody through that. And mm -hmm. some of them think it's a joke, yeah. but, it's, yeah. but it's, it's really a taking out some feelings, uh, am I correct, oh, yes. that you have? Well, mm -hmm. you know, uh, what that reminds me of is how some experiments have been performed where you are doing things remotely and you're being directed to uh, shock a person. And if he makes the mistake, you push the shock button. And uh, we found that most people will continue if they are directed to shock a person. Mm -hmm. And uh, the only thing about that experiment that was uh, soul saving grace was that it was a, a button that wasn't connected to the shock person. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. So <laughs> yeah, we will do that kind of uh, thing, but we're not really totally involved. The same with drones in the uh, um, Afghan and uh, Iraq wars. Mm -hmm. They had the drones that were flying and guided just like a, uh, a remote control um, uh, right. joystick, mm -hmm. right? right? And uh, they wiped out a lot of the, uh, uh, the, uh, the civilians over there in Afghanistan. Right. They did. And uh, they had to stop that because mm -hmm. they weren't realizing how many people they were killing with, the, with right. those machines. Because there's a disconnect. That is a, yeah. That's the issue. If there's a disconnect between the action and the Results. Yeah. yeah. So uh, that that is a part of cyberbullying as well. Right. Well, I think uh, you, we can also tie it in, like you, like you, you opened up with family values. Mm -hmm. With Bishop and I, we, we instill, and I know the way you were raised as well, mm -hmm. where you have the family unit, the core, where you sit down and you're a part of each other's lives and you discuss issues. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, we, we try to instill that with the, the youth program here, and whenever we give out outreaches, we discuss that as well. When I have my pediatric patients, I sit them down and I'll go over certain things. And now I have to incorporate an understanding of cyberbullying. I incorporate about uh, no stalking of strangers, uh, no one's allowed to touch your special places. Now I have to come up with a presentation to educate them on cyberbullying, uh, what to look for, what not to look for, you know, the signs and symptoms we say. Um, also, we have to get the parents involved and we're going to have to tell them that they need to. Um, yeah, be more involved, but understanding technology and uh, going over uh, the settings because of all these new technologies. But you know, I, I remember, and all of us remember, when we were children, the hardest thing is to confess that you've been bullied. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That, that's yeah, that's that's a real situation uh, because you don't want to admit that somebody's taking advantage of you. So it goes on a while. And the parents have got to watch the reaction when he comes home or she comes home from school. Right. Or even when they come off of the computer, you realize that there's something going on. Because it's going to take a while before they say, you know, that person bothered me or that person offended me. You know, and, uh, you know, cause when we go up, you know, the answer was, well, why don't you just hit them back? <laughs> you know, but, the, but many children aren't taught to hit back. Mm -hmm. You know, so they say, I, I hit back. No, I was taught not to not to retaliate. Yes, yes, yes. And as we and, and as we as pastors and as ministers, we tell the children, you know, you know, turn yeah. the other cheek. Come on, yeah. he said. And and so now the situation is they're caught between. And I think we we've got to let them know that there's a point where they have a right. Mm -hmm. They have a right to respond. Right. 
and they have a right to scream out. I, mm -hmm. I don't like that. They have a, a right to go to the principal or somebody and say, this, this person's bullying me, and it's not demeaning. It doesn't make you weak. It actually it makes you strong because you're, you're taking a more, a more uh, adult approach to the bullying. Right, right, right. You, know, you know what I'm talking exactly, about? Exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. Well, even, because yeah, you're the expert on this, even with the teachings of Christ, he only went to a certain point and then he stood up. Yes, and he, he did. Yes, he did. And he fought the good yeah. fight. Yeah. yeah. Yes, and he, he took did. the ultimate challenge. Yeah. And made the ultimate sacrifice. Yeah. 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 But, but, but the devil tried to bully him. Yeah. He, you know, he bullied him, telling you know, take it when he was weak <laughs> and, and he was fasting. Mm -hmm. And uh, he, he was led up into the mountain. The devil said, I'll give you this, do this, to do this. And all he wanted him to do at the end of the devil was to bow down and serve him. Yeah. But Jesus said, wait a minute, you went too far. I get you behind me, you know what I mean? I'm your master. You know? Yeah, and I think this is this is what our young people know, that you don't have to go all the way with this bullying. At the point where you can say, look, that is enough, you know what I mean? And, uh, and I'm sorry to say this to, to a lot of people who might hit it, might, might get me wrong, but there's a point where, where you as a child or somebody should take a stand and say, listen, if you push me too far, I can be another person, right? Okay, you know, we got to take it out challenge. Uh, uh, to be able to bring the strength out of them. We know, uh, I remember my drill sergeant, mm -hmm. you know, it, it, they would push you to the point yeah. where you speak up. Right. Yeah. They, they would push you to the point where, where you eat, would, and you would think, well, where are you going? Well, I'm making you a man, mm -hmm. because I'm, I'm taking you to the point where you, where you begin to say, look, that's it. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be a soldier. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna suck it in, yeah. and I'm gonna, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know. And and other than that, you are mamsy pansy. You know what I'm saying? Right. 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 So it, it it makes a difference. And right. and uh, I know there's some psychological viewpoints in this. We want to share yes, that. You know, uh, the the piece that that uh, impresses me the most is that it's a family issue. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that the child has to be uh, what I see is you you view the family through the child. Right, yeah. And then so you will look to see how come that child is behaving like he is. And most parents feel that they are really doing a good job. Yeah. yeah. And by the way, there is no manual that can actually tell you how to treat No, there, there is no manual. However, I think we need to get a manual. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it would be nice. Right. But, yeah. uh, you know, uh, coming back to the, the Christianity of it all, right. the, the best way to get your values is through the Ten Commandments. Exactly. And if you can work That's through correct. that with the child, mm -hmm. then you will find that that child will not do that bullying. Exactly. So that's yeah. a piece where the parents have mm -hmm. to really work with the child. Mm -hmm. And you get down to that level with the child and talk to him, look him in the eye, mm -hmm. make sure hopefully that the, both parents are there. Right. And that when he, the child, he or she sees the parents mm -hmm. caring for each other yeah. and loving each other, then that child will pick up on that transition. Right, right.